Hello, today we're going to go over how to put your saxophone together if you have a student that is just starting or you are just starting and you're not sure. We're going to have an alto sax today and so you're going to open the case. Usually if you have a hard case, it's going to have like the name of the instrument or something and that's going to be the front and you're going to just put that down flat with the handle facing you like a suitcase. You're going to open the latches and then open the top of the case mine is a zippered case but that is it you don't want to open it upside down because then the instrument's going to fall out and it's going to everything's going to go everywhere so make sure sometimes i'll even put my name like a piece of tape and put your name on it so that way you'll always remember and remember you always open it with the handle facing you okay now you're going to open it first you're going to see the body of the instrument we're going to just break it down and go through what to do now my reed is already on my mouthpiece and i have my ligature on but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it off for you so that we can go through and do it together so you're just going to get a mouthpiece like this and there's an opening on this side and then here now i have a mouthpiece pad for my teeth you can get them at a music store and you put them on and then if your teeth aren't on the plastic i feel like that is really a nice comforting thing um, but it's not necessary, but it's something that if you're a child or if you decide you're going to stick with a saxophone, you might want to try and see. If you don't like it, you can always take it off. Um, all right, so you're going to get that. You're going to have a mouthpiece cap that's going to protect your reed, and then you're going to have what we call a ligature. So a ligature is going to look like this. Some of them have two screws. Mine just has one. And whenever you put it on, if it's not an inverted one, which means it's going to be on the top, you're going to have it down by the reed, and the screw is always to your right. So then you're going to get your reed, you're going to wet your reed, you're going to have a back side of the reed with the name and then the front and the thin top side. I'm going to wet it like that. You can also put it under some water on the sink or a water fountain. You're going to take the opening part of your mouthpiece. You're going to take the flat side of the reed and that's going to go down with the tip part like that. And then this is like that. See, so this tip right like this and if you have lip gloss on it's gonna stain your reed like mine is all right so you're gonna make sure it's equal with the tip and the sides now once you do that you're gonna be really careful you're gonna take your ligature with the screws on that same side you're gonna slide it in with the screw on the right to you now I think this might be flipped with this video but you want the screw to be on your right side and once I do that I'm now gonna line it up again and I'm gonna tighten the screws to the right, righty tighty. You want it to be tight, not super tight that you can't get it out, but not loose that's gonna fall off. So then your reed, some of the beginner ligatures, if you adjust the reed, it's gonna fall off, you're gonna have to redo it. So just be careful with that. Um, the more expensive the ligature, the better it holds the reed on. So that's how that's gonna be. Great. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to take our neck of our instrument. This is your neck. You have a cork you're going to go ahead and twist it on when you're a beginner you want to put it in pretty far because you'll be flat which means the pitch is going to be under what it should be it's going to be lower um, you're going to twist it on now you twist it righty tighty now you may need cork grease so if you need cork grease cork grease looks like lip balm like if you know you have chapped lips whenever it's the winter time so you're going to get it out and this is going to be your cork grease. It's going to have a cap like this. Looks like lip gloss. Take it. Go ahead and put a little bit of it on. I just use my finger. You can use it like lip balm and go like this. Whichever way you want to do. Now, if you put it on your finger, you're going to want to wipe it off probably. Because a lot of students, people that are just beginners, I just rub it into my hand. Because, you know, it doesn't hurt you. But that's what I do. Okay, so... Here it goes like that. You're going to take your mouthpiece. Now you're going to twist it on back and forth easy. See? My reed stayed on and everything. Now, a lot of times with those beginner ligatures, the reed might come off. You're going to have to reset it while it's on here. We're going to learn how to make a sound. You're going to put your bottom lip over your bottom teeth. Your top teeth are going to go about half an inch or an inch, like right here. And you're going to make a seal and you're going to breathe like this through your corners. Now, 
you're gonna blow like you're spitting out a little piece of rice like that too not real like you're trying to blow down a house just nice and steady stream breathe in and so i'm going to do the same thing top teeth on lip over my bottom teeth make a seal about an inch or so in and that's it two let's try it again practice doing this if you can't get a sound out on this when you put the horn together it's gonna be 10 times harder so this is your first step if you do this the first day that's a win that's good practice putting this read on say you, your teacher tells you to leave the read on all you do watch see how this opening fits in there like that okay boom it protects your read so you don't break it reads are delicate and you break it um a lot of times if it's really chipped out you have to get a new read so and they're expensive so take care of your read it will last you my reads last me as long as they play good so it can last you a long time all right okay now we're gonna put the instrument together so i got my neck i got my mouthpiece on i'm gonna keep my cap on because i don't want to break my read so i'm gonna put that aside now you're gonna go ahead and get the body of your horn but you need a neck strap please do not play alto sax without a neck strap because your thumb is gonna hurt um so here's your neck strap you're gonna put it over your head and then you're gonna adjust it just like a backpack strap. Some of them are different. Mine just slides, but it has no pad. A lot of people want a pad on their neck. It depends on your comfort, what you want. I don't like a pad. I just like this strap, pretty simple. But it's up to what you want. All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead and take our saxophone. I have a swab in my saxophone to clean it out. You can get a cleaning kit on Amazon or anywhere like that, and you put it through the belt. The string comes out and you pull it through. Make sure you don't get it caught. Now, I also have another neck strap in my belt, so I wanna make sure. You also wanna make sure if you you have a child playing or even you, that you don't get anything stuck in your horn because that can happen and then it won't work. So here's my body. Now, I think this is gonna be um, different than how it should be on this video, but your right hand goes on the bottom. It's gonna go under this thumb rest. You have three pearls here. Finger four is your pointer finger, finger five, finger six, and pinky. Then your thumb is going to go on the black dot. You're going to skip a button. Mine is just a gold. Hit the little one, skip it right here and right here. So one, two, and three. So I'm going to put that really close so you can see. One, two, and three. Notice I'm not hitting this little one. And my pinky is going to sit here. On the back, my thumb goes right below. This is called my octave key. And here is my right hand. And then on the back, I should use my thumb. Now, see this right here? That is where you're going to hook your saxophone strap. Make sure, don't let it dangle on this because it will fall, okay? Now, I'm going to adjust it, and I'm going to put my neck on this right here. Watch. Right here. Put it in. This goes right like that, and I'm going to twist it. All right? And that goes like that. And now I'm gonna put my hands back on, left hand on top, right here, skip a button, button one, skip the little, two, three, pinky sits here, thumb, right thumb under the thumb holder, under it. Then four, five, six, pinky. First note we're gonna learn is B, first finger, that's it. Everything else is just, your hands are like curved like a C above the key. B, same thing, top teeth on the mouthpiece, Make sure the neck strap is adjusted so it goes right into your mouth. All right, check your read. Make sure your read is the top is centered with the tip. It's not over it, it's not under it, and the sides are centered. B, first finger on the left hand. Play it again. B, one, two, ready, B. Next note is A, it spells the word bag. Keep the first finger down, add the second finger. That's A. One, two, three, A. G, first finger, second finger, and third finger on the left hand. That's it. Ready, G. Play it again. Two, ready, G. So I have how to put my instrument together, how to put my read on. How to put it together put the neck strap on i can clean it out if i have a cleaning kit that's important too you don't want it to get dirty 
you can clean your mouthpiece with soap and water. Um, and B, first finger. A, first and second finger. G, first, second, and third. Bag. It spells bag. All right? So I'm going to play B, A, G. <laughs> going to leave my mouthpiece on I can just put the mouthpiece cap on if I'm going to take the reed off I'm going to unscrew the ligature take the reed off put it in the case with the tip going in first and put the mouthpiece away with the cap on without the reed I'm about to play so I'm going to leave my reed on I'm going to unscrew this right here to the left lefty Lucy twist my neck off screw that back I'm going to put that back in and then I will go ahead and put my cap on here and put it in my case. All right. We will still be playing. Check out my videos for more saxophone lessons. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Good luck. Thank you.